Okay, so today what I want to do is basically move my Italian brown sling from this uh, container and put it into a neater container. This container is a bit uh, old and damaged. Um, so what I want to do is I'm going to fill this up with a little bit of substrate. Not very deep. I'm going to make it quite uh, shallow and give it a little uh, place to hide as well. This is a much better in the sense that um, I can see clearly through it, um, whereas this container, I really, I just used it because I needed to at that very moment um, when I had gotten it. So what I'm going to do is I'm actually going to show you how I make uh, these little holes along the side. I'm going to show you how I'm going to make it on this container. Uh, well, I'm going to try to anyway because it's a bit difficult to hold up the camera. Um, but I'm going to show you that and well I don't know if you can actually see this but this is my Italian brown sling um, as you can see it's blue color form as a sling and as they get older the colors obviously change they're absolutely stunning um, yeah, there we go. The abdomen is a deep blue compared to um, the rest of its body. Okay, so as you can see, I have a soldering iron. It's on at the moment. Um, here's the container that I'm actually going to make the holes in. What I've done is I've made little markings on the container. Uh, as you can see, these little blue marks, just to show, uh, just to know exactly where I'm going uh, to make the holes. The whole point of this was to have a neater enclosure for my Italian brown. So I'm going to make the holes as neat as possible. Um, I'd love to actually show you how I make it with the soldering iron, but I can't exactly hold the camera the container and the soldering iron so um, once I'm done I'll just show you the holes okay so here's it completed with the holes the tiny little holes I didn't want to make too big holes because they actually look untidy when they're too big um, but I've made extra holes all over just so that um, we can get as much out off the container as possible. Um, yeah, I'm not really going to worry too much about little pieces of plastic. Um, yeah, so that's the container. I'm going to quickly fill it with some substrate and um, we're going to start transferring the Haitian brown. Okay, as you can see, I'm using a very thin layer. Um, of substrate. This is mostly because uh, it's still a sling. It doesn't need that much of substrate but I'm going to make a proper hide for it because they like to um, hide during the day and come out more at night. Uh, and because this uh, container is more clear, obviously more light is going to uh, go through. Um, okay, so let's start moving. Okay. It's right on the top at the moment. Um, I don't know if you can see that. Um, hmm. So, this should be quite easy. And all done. There he is. What I'm going to do is just dig a little bit of uh, space and put a piece of bark over it so that he has somewhere that he can go hide. What I'm going to do is actually show him 
to hide. Um, if I can get him to move, he's a bit skittish right now. Okay, there we go. He's inside. Okay, I haven't wet the substrate yet. I will wet it, and basically, I'm done. Awesome. So guys, thanks for watching and um, I'm going to be doing um, a video on my P. Ermania just now because I'm going to move that to a better looking container as well. Uh, it's almost identical container, it's just that the other one's um, old and kind of looks horrible. Uh, let's just take a quick look at my Haitian one more time. Okay, and there we have it. Okay, before I'm actually done, I just want to quickly show that I have moistened it. You can actually see the droplets on the side. I've mustered the entire thing, and uh, got quite a big lid there with uh, a little bit. It's just a tiny bit of water. It's just to keep up the humidity, um, mostly because I guess slings need more humidity um if you look underneath you can actually see the water i don't know if you can see that in the video but the water has actually gotten to the bottom that's the most important part uh, if the top dries out a little bit that's fine as long as the bottom is properly moistened <clears throat> okay again thanks for watching